Hey there YouTubers, thanks for tuning back in. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is fun. Today we have a question and answers kind of thing. Um, one of our uh, listeners, viewers, whatever you want to call him, told me um, he's having some trouble with a VLOOKUP. So um, if you look here, I have replaced his names and addresses with fake names and addresses, obviously for protection. But um, you can see that he's got a VLOOKUP table here and um, for all intents and purposes, uh, it it's working. So we're going to troubleshoot whatever is going on here. I'm going to hit Alt F11. So he's got a. Um, let's go ahead and bring up this user form that he's using. So it's got a sort list here, and what we're going to do is we'll click on one, and as you can see here, I have put a little place marker here so that it would stop right there. So the label job uh, is, uh, is, it must be a label on here somewhere. Let's see. I guess this label right here is probably the job number. And that's about to be filled with a, a worksheet function that is VLOOKUP. And we're trying to look up 102568 uh, in the database. Should bring up fake dude 2. Um, because we're looking at column two in an exact match in his employee list range. Um, and I'm going to hit F8. Now one thing that troubles me right off the bat is that VLOOKUP is not capitalized. But looking at it, everything's spelled correctly. Um, so that's very interesting. So let's go ahead and hit F8 and see what happens. Okay, unable to get the VLOOKUP property of the worksheet function class. Um, well, that's very interesting. Two thoughts here. Uh, one thought is, is this 102568 a number, or is it text? Because this is certainly text. If you look at it and hover over it, uh, anything on a user form is considered text unless told otherwise. So, I mean, you can convert that to a number if these are actual numbers by adding zero to it. That's a little trick you can do if you're always going to work with numerals because uh, something about yeah, see there? It, no quotes. So um, we could see if that VLOOKUP works. It looked like it did. Okay, so the problem was that on your worksheet they are numerals and on this user form uh, the label is considered a string of text. So we had to convert that by adding zero. Now. I do want to address this VLOOKUP being lowercase, that kind of scares me. So um, we'll review that in just a second. However, uh, probably the best practice if you're using numbers that you know are going to be employee ID numbers, especially if they have a leading zero, like a zero in front of the number, it's best to go ahead and just convert that all to text. So I'm going to highlight the entire row, uh, the entire column A, pardon me, hit control one or right click and format but I like control one and my computer takes forever for some reason lately anyway we're gonna go ahead and format this entire column as text so we're gonna click on text instead of general which is the default make sure it's text and uh, even so, these things are frozen in time as numbers until you click on one and then hit enter. Then you notice that little green thing that's trying to warn you and saying uh, this number is stored as text. Well, that's what we want. Uh, so you could double click on each of them. You could even hit F2 and hit enter, F2, enter, F2, enter, so that you'll be done really quick. Now, any new numbers, any subsequent entries like 1, 2, 3, will automatically be entered as text. So you don't have to worry about going through a million rows like that. In fact, if you have a bunch of them that you want to convert, you could run a, a macro loop. But anyway, I'm getting uh, off subject here. Let's go back to our VLOOKUP and try it again. Let's go ahead and uh, this this VLOOKUP happens whenever the this combo box is changed. So let's click on 201. Uh, let's just use the first one, 102568. So it should actually find this string in the VLOOKUP. Looks like that fixed it. So I'll take that off 
and uh, we will just hit the down arrow so you can see that it's updating so that's good that's a happy ending right all right the next thing I want to address is that this VLOOKUP is lowercase I'm gonna hit uh, control F and I typed in VLOOKUP in the current project and find next so here's uh, what I wanted to show you uh, there was actually a there was actually a procedure called VLOOKUP that the user had typed in and that could potentially uh, Excel might think that this is trying to be create your own function called VLOOKUP and so and then your custom parameters right there uh, that being said I would change the name of this because that is affecting all these others and making them lowercase as if this was a custom function I would just say sub that we can call it something else like uh, VLOOKUP test or VLOOKUP1 or anything uh, that should help let's see let's do that find again here we are so um, let's see if we can it's still not liking the VLOOKUPs. Um, maybe I need to restart and open the workbook. I don't know. Let me save it. And uh, we'll try reopening it. Hmm. Well, that didn't work. But I'll tell you what, the VLOOKUP is, for whatever reason, is working. So I won't uh, cry over spilled milk, but it is odd to me. Anyway go ahead and run this um, just to make sure so we'll select this right here go back to let's see I'm gonna hit F8 and run the test macro so see VLOOKUP G10 is this cell right here in the employee list actually you know what this cell probably needs to be formatted as text as well or maybe not Let's see. There we go. That probably would help us out a little bit. So hit F8. So, oops. Looks like it's starting here. Let's put it back here. Active cells value is going to be that V look up there. The offset value is going to be that. That and that. So the VLOOKUP worked. For whatever reason, it is still lowercase. Kind of freaky, but you know what? Not the end of the world. If it, uh, if it causes you a problem, then that's when it's really a problem. Yeah, right now it's aesthetics. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.